What is going on, everybody? My name is Landshark Rosa. I'm your host for this evening. And if this is your first time tuning in or coming back to the Pokemon Scarlet series, I want to welcome you guys in, and I hope you guys enjoy the video that we have for you today. Now, last time we, uh, you saw the shenanigans that me and my brothers did. If you guys haven't seen the video, it's gonna be popping up right about now. And today, um, today we are going to be taking on a Titan today. I think we're super close to one right now. We do have a couple of a uh, couple of Titans left. I think we have two or three left. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Hopefully we can get through it and everything's gonna be going good, right? I don't think we've been in this desert before. Asado Desert. Oh, what is that? Bro, this guy got mad legs, bro. You love to see it. This man skipped arm day. Brody skipped arm day, but you focused on the legs. You already know, bro, to the toe. Pick up the phone, baby. Who is I bet you it's Arvin. Hold on a second. Hey, Land Shark. Apparently, this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking uh, off and on and making me feel a bit sick, so I'm going to just sit down and rest a little before I go get back to Titan hunting. Say less. What about cow tipping? You know what though? I I gotta see what the level is for these uh Pokemon over here. Also, I'm gonna go into Finizen because Finizen is gonna be OG OG here, so that's roughly it. I wanna go against somebody that I know is ground. Who's this? Is that a dung beetle? Bro, it is! Oh, it's Relor. If I hit him with an Aqua Jet, do you think he'll die? Uh, he used my shot. My speed fell. Okay. So, we know. Here's what we know. We know that he's not super effective against water. So, I'm guessing he's steel. I'm guessing he's steel. Steel and ground. Got him. And he used takedown. Okay. I feel like we gotta get a different move from Aqua Jet. To be or get rid of double hit and get something else. We gotta get an or use another water move. Alright. Actually hold on. Before before we keep going, let's change our position. There we go. Come here, baby! Yaga. Imagine if I could ride the Don fan. Well, alrighty there, pal. Listen. Would you like a chopped cheese? Because you know what? You're not you when you're hungry. Don Fan, baby. Don Fan go. Uh oh! German battle? Hold on a second. Pick up the phone, baby. Hello, Landshark. This is Professor Sada. Great Tusk is a Pokemon that came from the greater creator of Paldea. As that you do whatever it is needed to subdue it for me with all due caution, of course. Nah. Nah. We ain't doing that. All right. Um, I'm gonna low kick this, John. He has rapid spin. Oh, that's half my health. <laughs> and his speed rose. Okay. All right. You know, I thought that would be a tad bit more. What about Mystical Fire? He used Big Break, and I'm dead. All right. I want to see something, right? So he has Rapid Spin, Brick Break. Uh, don't, do not, do not talk to me like that, okay? Don't talk to me like that. I will slap you. All right, Chandler, show, show him what you do. Hit him, you know what? We can hit him with a whirl. We can hit him with a whirl of whiz. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit him with a whirl of whiz first. And he used Brick Break, are we gonna die here? No, that's a lot of damage. Bro, we got one shot. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a major, major problem because all of my Pokemon are involved. Like Chandler. All right, so we're gonna use Seed Bomb. He was knock off. Bro, what's up with this man? Are you serious? Are you serious? I could have started, I could have started out with Swirly Cat to begin with. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to swap into Sack Boy because Sack Boy at least has some type of damage on him. You know what I mean? Some type of, well, I want to say damage, but tankiness. Hopefully, he does not get sacked here. We don't use him as fodder. If we do, we break the mold, though. Break the mold. 
go baby let's go baby let's go baby all right so we're gonna hyper potion look how many potions we have just by running around like the open world and just grabbing them so many hyper potions it's insane um however he has brick break that might i was about to say that just might do it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into swirly cap right we're gonna go into swirly um we're gonna terrestrialize and we're gonna hit him with a seed bomb if we were able i should have got thing i should have got trailblaze on him trailblaze would have been so much better all right let's go let's go baby hopefully too we can evolve swirly i, I hope in this episode we can evolve all most of our pokemon that we have i know with finizen to get palafin you need to have a union circle and you have to have them at least like level 38 or something like that my lord come on baby come on hit him with the gliz hit him with the glizzy it's not enough oh! that's it what well, oh i was gonna say it was a one-time deal did he just this oh Bro, hit him with the yo, hit him with the later skater. What? Yo, look, yo, he ran a train on my team. Okay, so what did we learn today, class? We learned today that start off with Swirly. <laughs> start off with Swirly. Actually, if he's weak to grass, that means he's ground. He's just pure ground. right and um char cadet got folded like a crepe but also y'all we have a question of the day for you guys because what is a land shark episode without the question of the day so the question of the day y'all is what is your top three red flags i know this is a little bit different from what we normally do for the questions but i gotta say for me top three top three number one first and foremost if you wear sneakers on your bed, that's it. If you out here rocking the Timberlands outside, walking to the store, walking to work or whatever it is, and then you come home and you kick your feet up on your bed or on your couch with your shoes still on, that's a problem. You're a menace to society, okay? We cannot have that. We cannot have that. Second, second, I'm gonna be honest, if you kiss your pet on the mouth that is like if like a dog nah that no forget fido right forget fido you yourself need some dentist sticks because that is filthy mcnasty and last but not least was that hippotas what if hippotas hippotas was poppy last but not least all right if you eat good and plenties all right now just get like how are we gonna mess with you if you out here eating the nastiest candy on the face of the earth i would rather have a whole bag of candy corn before i have good and plenty i know if no one's gonna be like hey yo i'm gonna go to the gas station real quick what do you want and if somebody says good and plenty they're the ops bro they're not your friend they're lying to you they're lying to you you know what i mean it's licorice not even the twist it's like the original licorice not even twizzlers not even strawberry licorice and then it has some mid candy coating it's not even a good candy coating right it's not like a jordan almond candy coating and let me tell you about jordan almonds right jordan almonds are so good and i feel like they're so underrated and people don't talk about jordan almonds enough i remember this one time where i think me uh our family went to like this wedding a couple of years ago probably not even a couple of years ago a long time ago right and one of their like gifts you know how like they have them on like the table and stuff was jordan almonds right and i remember just coming home and just watching like devil may cry gameplay from like and the cutscenes from like one and three and just snacking on jordan almonds Jordan almonds are so good. I just don't understand why people don't talk about them. I'm gonna be honest. And besides, like, I think almonds is like the best kind of nut. Pause, all right, pause. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. It ain't like that. But, uh oh, he's about to back it up. Is he gonna back up the dumpy? He's not backing up the dumpy. 
Actually, I don't know if I should have started with Swirly. I feel like I should have sw started with Gallad. The Titan Great Tusk began eating something. Oh, nah. Landshark, looks like you found yourself a Titan. We did. And he's not happy. That's the Quaking Earth Titan? Is that thing even a Pokemon? It must be trying to get pumped with that little snack. A little too pumped. There's time to show that thing what you and me can do, Lancer. We're going to team up. We're going to do a collabo like we do with every single Titan. Y'all heard? Y'all feel me? All right. Hopefully this time he does not look happy. Oh, my God. Bro, his Scoville is level 44, bro. He outshined me. All right, we're going to go C-Bomb, Terrasalize C-Bomb. I'm going to use the Scovillian I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This is going to burn. Bro, no. <laughs> I don't feel safe anymore, son. Yo, please don't get folded like an omelet, Swirly. I need you with me on this. Look at that great flower. I don't know. He's knocked off. On the Scovillian. Oh, my God. Scovillian, you scary face. Speed harshly fell. Let's go. We like it. We use Seed Bomb. Oh my god, it does nothing. It does nothing. Oh my god. Someone help me. Someone help me, please. <laughs> Scovillian, use Razor Leaf. He's a go. He's a go. Hold on a second. <laughs> Yo, scared. Yo, I'm so scared because I don't know what this guy's going to do. He's like, hey, yo, fam. Uh-oh. Oh! Yo, he folded school villain! Oh, this isn't good. No! Bro! I might have to go into Finizen. Because he just stomping. He. Well, then again. Rapid spin. Oh! His speed rose. He might. He might. Alright. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, he just break break! Oh, no! Cups that are all say. That was up. Alright, we're not losing to this bozo. How is acrobatic super effective against this guy? I wanna know. Psybeam super effective? What is he? What? How is Psybeam super effective? You dual wing beat, bro. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go into Sack Boy. We're gonna go into Sack Boy, heal up, like revive our Pokemon. And then we'll probably go into Latrell, actually. Latrell might be able to pull this off. I wonder if you can revive this guy's Scovillian. Nope, you cannot. I do got to heal up things. I got to heal up my uh, Swirly. Stomping tangent. That might kill me. Yep. All right, sack boy. Take him back to the cleaners, baby. Now, we're going to use... um. I don't know if I should send out Gallade or... No, nah, we're going to use Latrell. He's fighting. He's fighting in ground? Is that what that is? Because I don't see any any which way. All right, dual wing beat this man. Dual wing beat this man. Yaga. Hit him again with the Yaga. It's not doing a lot. The Pokemon was hit two times. He used rapid spin. He smacked me in the gliz. His speed rose. Team, I'm scared. I could use Roost, but he's going to use rapid spin again. So might as well just hit him with a dual wing beat. Okay. Okay! Oh my god, can you live this? Can you live this? He used Brick Break. We lived on one! He lived on one! Latrell's goaded! Latrell is goaded! Yo, imagine if he has Quick Attack. Yo, let's go, Latrell! Latrell's too sturdy, team! He's too sturdy. Oh my god, Latrell! <laughs> Latrell, oh my. Yo, Latrell, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I know you don't fit on the screen, but GG's, bro. Oh my god. Finison wants to learn Encore? No. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Finish up. Let's go! We got Swirly to evolve! Let's go! Final! Final, baby! What's he looking like? That looks so mid. I mean, it's alright! <laughs> That looks so mid. Look at that. Nah, fam. Meow Scarada. That is nah, bro. Grass and dark. You know, that's not bad. As a great, it's like Shift Tree and Cacturn. Flower Trick. What's Flower Trick? Forget a move. The user throws a rigged bouquet of flowers at the target. This attack never misses and always lands a crit? Bro, what? Oh my god. Forget. I'm going I'm to I'm give it a home clause, actually. Because if we get something else, I want I want to say, like, swipe. Oh, I thought I thought Latrell was going to evolve, too. I'm like, yo, hold on a second. How is Latrell evolving? <laughs> it's like, way to gosh, darn diggity second, Obi. Nice going, little buddy. I appreciate you, Arvin. Thank you. What even was that thing, though? Well, it's gone now. I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. It's a Don fan, bro. It's a, it's literally a mammoth Don fan. Kind of reminds me of Mammal Swan, to be honest. Mammal Swan, also one of my favorite Pokemon. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herb of Miska it was eating. Let's give that the place a once over before that thing decides to come back. What does that even mean? Or did I just... Did I read that wrong? I feel like I did. You know? I'm sure there's some here too. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. There's only one... Oh, there's a Pokeball! Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! <laughs> Aha! It's nice and yellow. I knew it. I spy Urban Mystica. As it has a nice, like, little yellow glow to it. The sour, that's what I was saying. It was like the six senses. The sour, sweet, gone, sour patch kids. No. Sour, sweet, spicy, salty, umami. Umami. I don't know. I think it's umami, right? Is it? Another successful search. We're on a roll. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Okay. Sour Urban Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. Says here it works one is whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. So it's like a perk 30. <laughs> this is definitely how my boss did feel even better. So you're going to make me, are you going to make me the sour chopped cheese or not? Are you going to put citric acid in this drawing or what? Come on, Lancelot, let's get some food going. Let's, yes, sir. I didn't even have any food today. No food yet. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go. Another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with a special Titan badge. The Pokemon League might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. I do. I do appreciate it. Because I love you. I love you, Arvin. I do not love you, Arvin. I'm joking. I'm not going to. That's weird. That's weird, Arvin. That is weird. But. You know what's going to happen. You know who's going to pull up. <laughs> well, there's the Coralion. Figured this might have happened. Don't worry. I made extra this time for that brood of yours. Wow. He's like, yo, fam. Yo, fam. That chop cheese smelling valid. I'll share. He's like, wow. Come on, ball stick. Got some out for you too, bud. Look at that Pokeball just sitting there. That ripe Pokeball for the taking. All right. Let's see my ball stiff. Let's see if you're valid. Let's see if you pass the vibe check. Yo, Corali doesn't knock him the whole same when she's like, oh, Lord. Right Corali, uh, Karadion will be able to glide now. Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down. Would you pause it, yo? Oh. This boot seems to be benefiting from the herbs, too. I guess it's in its own sort of way. Oops. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, Landshark, take another look at this. There's always a Titan Pokemon near the Herb of Mystica, right? When we find them. Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that make the Titan so big and strong. It's actually a perk 30. People forget about that. They're just tweaking off the perks. 
So does that mean the Titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the Titan keeps his food? Probably. Oh, you're done with your sandwich, my boss, dude? All right, my boss, dude. What's it looking like? Oh, he spoke? Yo, my man spoke. He's like, who? Hey. I'm not imagining things. Let's see. See, see, I knew that. Uh, I knew I just wasn't hearing things. Oh, my boss, Steph, who's my best bud? Who's the best of boys? Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. It's been so long since I heard that wolf. Oh, my God, Arvin, don't cry on me, baby. My boss, Steph, is get, definitely getting better. Ever since I've seen up with you, good things keep happening. I mean, it's just because we're goaded. But we still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick out until we're done. So it's the flying one and it's the dragon one? I think it's the two that we have left. We might actually... I think what we're going to do is we might power through... Uh-oh, hold on. Pick up the phone, Hello, Landshark. This is Sada. What up, Sada? I detect that Karadian has regained more of its original power. After it has jumped in the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Wow, we can glide. Okay, let's go, baby. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that we have for you today. And if you guys want to see more content like this, drop a comment down below and also drop a comment on what are your red flags are, all right? And as always, y'all, as always, this has been your boy Landshark Rosa speaking. Treat every day like a Friday, and I'll catch you guys later, baby. Take care.